Excelente. Oh, uh, you there? Yeah. I know. Because I want my phone to be accessible, but. Well, it's accessible, alright. <laughs> drop out. Oh, I, I need to bring uh, pins for all these people. Yeah. I don't need to, but I want to. the way that's the way oh, I'm dropping everything coming yeah that was from a while back <laughs> you're going hey oh my god long time no see how you doing? I have something for you. I'll give it to you right after. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> Take more than one. Take at least like three, four. Can you give them, give them some people. I want to wear it. Spread it around here. Let's spread it. Designed a little bit differently, like this piece is different. Everything else is pretty much. The oh, same. just the rubber? Just that rubber piece, yeah. Yeah, I got it for like I think I got it in just one of one, one December. It's cheap too, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna Good morning. How is everyone? Yeah, I have some yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice, perfect. For distribution, yeah, you can I take more than one. Marcus, okay. You can give some to people. To wear them, anyone that's interested in oh yeah, so let me try and make them available. You're welcome. Here you go. <laughs> you have you have to put one you have to put one on. I know I have so many, I'm gonna go home and give them to my I come bearing gifts. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Oh, they're there. I thought you guys were at uh, the intersection this morning. We got here too. Yeah. I didn't know that they were I'll ask Sabrina. We slowed down one truck and then the cops got called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe let's see what happens. Let me just. Yeah, I know, but they're here now, though. I know. <laughs> Good morning. How's it going? Good, yourself? Yeah, yeah. I come bearing gifts. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I have to put one on. Yeah. I have to put it on. <laughs> I'm going to make everyone wear them everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. I wear mine like crap. I have like a bunch of different hats at home, so I stuck them all on the hats. Yes. <laughs> I'm about to, uh, I saw Len Goldberg, his sister made these fur free uh, masks oh, and it's yeah. just literally like, it looks like the button without the peace and justice for animals, but like stubbed like all oh, over your oh, face. He posted a selfie with that. Yes, angry. yes. I laughed so hard. I'm like, like I need friend. like 30 of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be excellent. Like anytime we do fur events. Yeah. It's nice and sunny today. Oh, I'm so happy about today. Oh my God, it's perfect. I woke up this morning and I was like, the universe is shining our way, 100%. That's when you know you're supported, you know? Yeah. And even when it's raining, you're yeah. still supported. <laughs> it just wants to give you a bit of challenges too. Like it needs, yeah. it needs to know that you're serious, you know? <laughs> that you're committed. <laughs> I'm gonna go give this to the cops. Yep. If I'm able to cross one day. 
Oh yeah, you have to. Yes! I'm trying to come. I'm literally trying to come. I, I want to give them a thing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give him a, a thing. Good morning. I come bearing gifts. Oh, I'm I'm okay, but thank. You. Oh, come on! I know you're against fur. I can't pick sides. I gotta play the middleman. Right? It's not about, but, but you can wear it off the job though. Oh uh, yeah, I'm okay, but thank you. Um, I'm just here because someone was stopping the truck. I guess that's that's just what I got, right? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm not here to rage. Yeah. It's just, I know that the new law came in, right? And you guys can't be stopping the trucks. Mm -hmm. I, get, I get you're here protesting, uh, and that's totally fair, and you're completely entitled to do that. We're just, just asking that you don't stop the trucks, okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, and we appreciate I'll be that. Hair, okay? no. All right. Thank All right. you, Officer no Danger. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, I right. like you. Oh. <laughs> I like you too, so far. <laughs> I just, I He's just like, let's just keep it that yeah, way. I, I just, keep I it just that way. <laughs> I just don't want to come back and, and deal with uh, people yeah. stopping the trucks. So sometimes we talk. No, no, and I, and I get it, right? Like, if the light's green and you're, you're able to cross, that's totally fair, but just, yeah, just yeah, so don't be don't, stopping uh, the trucks, all right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right. And then, and then, yeah, we were on the road. So, we didn't, uh, like, obstruct the vehicle, but we were on the road. Right? Okay. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're free to, yeah, you're free to cross if you have the green light, and yeah. just, yeah. yeah, just don't jump in front of any trucks, okay? No, no, no. Thank right. you. Okay. Is it Granger? Granger, yeah. Granger, like cool. Like Hermione Granger, but with an eye. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. <laughs> I love Harry Potter, so yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> good reference there. Uh, what's your What's your uh, badge number? 30158. 30158, yeah. cool. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Very kind. Yeah. That's, just, uh, yeah, as long as no one's going to find any trucks in the Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And we definitely don't want trouble. Uh, it is actually pretty nice. It's warming up, too. So. No, it it is. is. It's nice. Like, this is... We've had a really good winter for activism. Yeah. yeah, it's been pretty mild. Like, so. I would say like, if, yeah, like it's, I think it was two years ago or something, we were out here, like you couldn't be out here without three layers of snow pants. Yeah. And, like, That's why I was brutal. Brutal. the snow boots. No, sure. But now I'm like, yeah. I don't really need them. This is like, this is luxury. And la and then even in November, I was out here in November, shorts and a tank top. No way. Yeah. Like, <laughs> was it that like, warm in November? It was so, I can show you a picture right now. <laughs> like, I don't know if I, but, um. It was like the whole week. It was like 25 That's degrees. Crazy. We're going up to double digits like this week, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice. It's definitely favorable for us. Yeah. We end up standing outside most of our weekends, and whenever we have free time, yeah. to be able to stand up for the animals, right? Do you do you you know what we're doing here, yeah. though, right? I have like, like an idea of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have you heard of uh, the organization New Wave Activism before? I haven't looked into it, no. Oh, okay, okay. Is it your first time here? I, I think, think I've so. been here once before, but oh, not okay. like briefly, briefly. That's quite like quite a while ago. I yeah, because I, I don't, yeah, either. same. I don't remember you either. And you would definitely, you're here every Sunday, so. Yeah, <laughs> she knows everyone. Mostly our traffic guys are dealing with it, um, but when they're not in, Well, as you can see, we're all peaceful activists oh, and yeah, we're yeah. not no, here. I'm no not. one's here to cause any harm. No, if anything, sure. you know, I don't know if you know uh, anything about Bill 156. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, and I know you're supposed to stay biased and all this kind of stuff. And I, I get it. I get unbiased. unbiased. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. That's my French right <laughs> there. Okay. Biased. That's no, my French you for you right there. I, I mix up words there. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just staying, staying in the middle. I just want everyone to get along. And yeah. As long as that happens. Yeah, for sure. We want everyone to get along too, just without killing animals, you know. And we know that uh, we know that it's possible, actually. Yeah, we know. Like we know. I don't know. Have you ever had uh, the opportunity to watch Game Changers on Netflix? I haven't. No. Oh wow! So it's a really good. Do you have Netflix? I do have Netflix. Yeah. Well, so it's a really good no documentary yeah. with people like Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. like like a lot of. It's an actually an MMA fighter that's uh, reiterating the whole story. That's just basically explaining his story and how he got into understanding um, more about plant-based okay, eating, well, and December. it's really interesting. Oh, okay. no way. December and shorts, and the one that I want to show you. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Game Changers, Netflix, like, totally worth it. Yeah, no, it was like 
smoking hot outside. And you were smoking hot too. No. <laughs> That's what I was thinking right now. <laughs> no, but like there it actually is a cute picture of me and Vanessa. Oh okay, okay. Like, that's was that when we were? Was that when we were in front of the car? Yeah. Was that when I was cleaning the lights on? That was, were we? Were we doing on. that on the other oh, side yeah. there? Yeah. Yes, we yes. didn't want him to come forward. With the Mr. Garvey. Mr. Garvey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my Isn't God. Barnes that turned the lights on. Oh, that might. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the only I good always thing forget he his name. His life. <laughs> I have a video from him like four years ago here, and he came and he shoved my friend across the road and I go up to him like so Barnes you just like pushing young women eh he goes yeah she was in the roadway so I shoved her off the road and I was like shoved her eh and he's like <laughs> that's so I Canadian escorted her off the road I was like well was it a shove or an escort bud like, okay. oh we don't like Barnes and then the stuff happened with all the things oh we don't like Barnes Barnes was like number one loves touching me so he was number one to come in here swooping in all aggressive <laughs> and then I'm like recording him and he's like, oh, Sabrina, you look really good today. What's up? And they're like, oh, such a condescending thing to say. And I'm like, bro, I'm always good. Like, I'm always good. Like, it's just perspective. Just, you're just coming up here being like, no, I can't stand there. And like, random days, random different decisions. But I'm always the same. Yeah. I'm always chilling. Anyway, we're talking you up, you know, because uh, we don't we don't get new people here much. <laughs> it's, it's actually fun yeah, to I talk to a new face. Show up every yes, time, right? and and a lot of Do them already don't dance? don't like us yeah. very much dance. already. Oh, already like, oh my God, Dan! <laughs> really, like full on power trip. Like, oh yeah, like no, like oh. <laughs> Like she said something there. Oh yeah, no, like, ugh. Can't be here, you're obstructing the thing. Like, we're chilling on the sidewalk. Camp, if you don't move right now, you're gonna get filled. Like, like, bro, like. It's so, so like, funny. once you have the power, like, my sister's a cop back in back in Europe, mm -hmm. like, and her partner as well. And like, as soon as she was in for like a year, her mentality talking change. It's a power trip. Even when she drives, she's like up people's asses. Yeah. I can do this. I can do that. That's so funny. It, it, it's a, it's a normal thing when you're given power yeah. for most people yeah whether you're a police officer or anything it's in any any position <laughs> no, of power right, right? even, even like at work or whatever you're given power you absolutely try to, you start pushing it, right? any it position good. of power but i think it also depends on the individual like oh, you could because you could be put in a position of power but if you have good intention right without, and and without and without getting tainted by your environment or whatnot you can still it's sustain just, that and it's and just where even like some people that you know hey good person yeah exactly it, it when, no i agree i agree i've known uh back in my day i used to work in bars a lot and i uh, used to i used to be friends with because we would finish at 3 4 a.m fofon electric in, in montreal and they're oh, for, oh, for? Yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah, yeah. Spell oh, I, i'm from ottawa originally that's ah, okay okay yeah. ah c'est drôle ma soeur elle habitait à ottawa pendant ma soeur c'est une psychoéducatrice oh, really? maintenant elle est à vancouver puis uh, elle travaille avec les vétérans d'ailleurs oh. Yeah, yeah. Stuff or? yeah. 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 She works for the government with the veterans. <laughs> Sorry, but... I do this thing where I'll listen to you in French, but I'll respond in English. Oh, that's it's just, a... like English is my first language. Mais tu dois pratiquer ton français parce que sinon tu vas l'oublier. Puis c'est la même chose pour moi. Moi, je suis québécoise. Puis si je n'ai pas la chance de parler souvent, alors quand j'ai la chance, puis elle aussi, elle est québécoise. Elle aussi, elle est québécoise. Elle aime pas se parler en français avec moi, puis je la force. She's French québécoise. Yeah. She's a Quebecer like me, man. <laughs> She's a little shit. Yes, but she doesn't like to practice. Oh, we've got a hater. We've got a hater over here. A French hater. No, I'm kidding. It depends who's. No, but I love Ottawa. Is a good, a good place too. But uh, yeah, there you go. You can come. You want to cross the street right now with me? We could go back to your car. Look, it's a, it's a passenger. It's a, it's a pedestrian. <laughs> Oh, <sighs> the babies. They've never asked for this, you know? Look, look at his little snout. They're just like dogs. There's no difference. And honestly, we don't need to eat them. So it's really crazy that we're doing this still. And I, I really suggest that you watch Game Changers on yeah, Netflix. Maybe, I, I might give it a watch. And even just look like, uh, look, have a look at nutritionfacts.org. You can even look at eating animals causes pandemics. Like, I know you're supposed to, like, just in your own time, I have yeah, like yeah. this little card. Sure. 
and there's just a whole bunch of documentaries and stuff that are really good to watch and that'll just it's always good to take educated and informed decisions no, that's totally fair. do you know what i mean yeah. like at the end of the day you want to know the truth you want to know the reality and then make your decisions mm -hmm. but like don't be like most people and live blind man i'm telling you like and we need people like you too to, to, to know what's happening so that you understand a bit more of like why we're here and what we're doing yep. and uh, like I think it's important, phone? right? Totally fair. Are yeah. you allowed to look something up? Yeah, what do you want oh, me to look up? Oh, because like technically it's part of your job. What do you, you want me to look research. up? You should follow my group and then you can say like I have students. Then you know when we're here. Like, tell. Oh yeah? You'll, I'll get the, the heads up that you guys are here. Right? <laughs> yeah, you He'll be like, like okay, uh, schedule me off work today so I don't have to show up <laughs> over there. <laughs> These girls are not going to let me go. <laughs> No, you're not gonna do that. Put that fucking thing away. Put that away. Why right now, like we're Nika and I will go. Nika and I will. Oh my god. Yes. Alright, I will. Is it on? What is it on Instagram? Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Actually, TikTok. I don't have TikTok. Someone needs to teach me how to use TikTok. You should get TikTok. So stupid. I hate it. I I download it. It's great for non-vegans, but every time you get on TikTok, yeah. Like I I shared a fur video there where we were almost taking a. Moose knuckle um, the fur off yeah. someone's coat. We were trying. Me and Jenny McQueen were trying to get them, like over eighty thousand views, and it's literally Mika, like the most. I, I open it up and the comments that I see, like people will be like, "Oh, let us skin your cats and put them on the coat," and like, like just like, oh, like I can't even. Do you know what I mean? It's. Well, I guess it reaches the, the right people, but. Yeah, but does it reach the right people or does it reach the people that just want to hate and create so much more negativity and you know? But I know that with, it is a domino effect, right? So with any negative negativity will come exactly. positivity. There's always like that push. And it stays in the back of their head. Yeah. It makes them think, if, even if they, you know. <laughs> oh, you're those people. I'm like, all right. So it's nice to know the cops talk about us. Yeah, like, yeah. hey. Of course right. they would though. Come on, we're a part of their weekly growing, we're a part so of their weekly uh, events. <laughs> yeah, every week we're happen. here, man. Like come on, you're here every freaking week. Of yeah, course they're gonna happen. they're gonna talk about it, right? And then else if you were here once a month, once every third month, you know, you'd be like, meh, whatever. Yeah. Those are the days when I'd be here yeah. on Thursday, Thursday, stopping trucks for five minutes each truck. After Regan was killed, I was stopping yeah. trucks for five minutes. We've never had a problem, which is really, like, we're all a part of this, well, I, I actually can't speak for them, but of uh, the Animal Justice Academy right now. Yep. And I don't know if you've heard of Animal Justice just in general. No, not really. So they're actually uh, animal rights lawyers, okay. right? It's like a whole organization that represents the animals, but in court and in justice, yep. right? So in the uh, community and academy right now, we have this six-week course. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's teaching us everything. Yeah. Like it's teaching, and so you, it's not only vegans that are there, right? Yeah. Like there's all sorts of activists worldwide that are showing up just for... A, uh, <laughs> okay, fuck, You're for fuck's win, sakes. Get like, off. please further, <laughs> like that is not cool. Not cool. Also, cancer... That's why we don't hang out, Michelle. I smoked for 15 years of my life. It's been three and a half years. November 9th, 2017. Good for you, man. Good for you. <sighs> well, that's what happens when um, shit happens. Yeah, but anyway, I lost my train of thought now. I oh, forgot what I was talking good. about. Uh, activists, animal... Oh, yeah, yeah Animal like, Justice Academy. There it is, yeah. So they're actually... Um, it's incredible what they're teaching us right now. Like, about all of the different animal agriculture industries, but it just so happened last night, I was taking a nice little Epsom salt bath, and I was watching the one on ag-gag laws, right? Yeah, yeah. And she was just talking about how unconstitutional it is and just how it infringes upon human rights as well, right? Yeah. And, and if you really look at the insides and outs, like the fact that we're not allowed to show the reality, like again, we've been, we had been doing this for two to three years yeah. without any problem, right? Yeah. I understand incidents happen, but Bill 156 was in action way before that happened way before and the reason that happened is because they thought it was actually in application already but it wasn't in effect but anyway regardless yeah. of that um bill 156 is just meant to silence whistleblowers and to shut us off and it's like it doesn't it doesn't make sense that they don't want the public to see so it's like there's so much lobbying involved and like 
who's who's gonna do something about it right and like the fact that we would get ticketed just to try and show footage of what those babies have to go through before they die and just for people to be able to see what's actually happening like to see the connection with their food and you know we've always done it and it's like why would now would there be infringement and would we get charged upwards of twenty five thousand dollars for a citizen that's only trying to expose the reality, like the truth, yeah. right? No, Without causing any harm. I, under, no, I understand where you're coming from. So yeah. it's really sad. Like now we have had to change, to pivot and, and to yeah. gotta, do what we can, right? Oh. But uh, but it's just, it's really unfortunate because even like something like today, right? You came and again, like they didn't really stop the trucks. No, I, it's I understand a pedestrian what they were doing. and it's they the were, whole no, like you know we try I, to do what we can yeah, at the no, end I, of the day because you're working within what you have and I understand that, right like I do get it uh, but yeah yeah, I, yeah no, and I, I know you have to show I'm up just, regardless I'm, right I'm doing my job as well right and it's I, I get where you're coming from and I get where they're coming I get where everyone's coming from right like, yeah it just it is what it is right now yeah. unfortunately and but no yeah. I, I I'm, I'm I'm happy that you guys are you guys seem to be doing like nothing. yeah you're not doing anything wrong I, I understand. I, uh, no, I, I get where you're coming from. So. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. No, well, no, thank as, you. As long as you guys aren't stopping any trucks or anything like that, like, I, I know what you're doing. You're walking across like, yeah. within, within the light and all that. And I, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. We okay. appreciate your understanding. No worries. <laughs> all right. Well, hopefully I uh, don't get called back. No, but, no, no. Uh, how, how long are you guys here for? Uh, probably until 12. And then we're going to do a banner drop for fur at Appleby. Okay, cool. Yeah, so right. if you want to drive by and take some pictures there, we'll be end fur farming, <laughs> hanging right. off the dr bridge over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Thank I'll see you. you later, okay? Thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I asked for it, but I, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Okay, someone want to hold this with me? Yep. As discussed. Yep. Oh, it's still wet from the last time. Eh? No, I was uh, super lucky. I got gifted by Adam. He gifted me all of like their activism stuff. So I got the end the fur and the fur farming banner that we're gonna go throw off right after this at Appleby. If you guys want to come, we're all going up there, just throwing off the uh, end fur farming banner. The people actually respond really well on the highway. They're like beeping. They're going crazy. Okay, we need to pull it out, baby, and we need to get closer over here. Thank you. You want to come a bit closer to the road, or? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to pull on it more, though. Yeah, we need to keep it straight. That's it. Look, keep your arms straight so you don't have to pull. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you just keep your arms straight, you're not yeah, but this is good. You're going to use more muscle doing this than if you're just kind of hanging out like that, right? Does someone want to use the megaphone? I have to conserve my voice. <laughs> like literally. Yeah. We love all animals, <laughs> including dogs and cats. <laughs> that idiot. And pigs. 
Oink, oink. Try choosing love this year. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever thought of stopping eating animals? <laughs> So this place right here kills 10,000 pigs every day. Every single day, this facility puts 10,000 pigs in gas chambers. Gas chambers is how they stun the animals here. I don't know, it's something happening over there. like the pressure tank of something like I don't know what it is though it's 2021 it's time to stop eating animals if you go to Tim Hortons there's plenty of good options that you don't need to support the killing of animals you can get a bagel with peanut butter I'm so hungry <laughs> go to, um, I'm so hungry <laughs> Can we go to community after? We had community yesterday. Oh no, we didn't. Brunch, brunch. Oh, like I had brunch, community brunch. yesterday. Oh, brunch had brunch. Had yeah, brunch. but the omelet was so good. Maybe oh good my god. Oh my god, it was so good. We okay, are maybe. We're here raising awareness for the animals. We're here speaking up for the 10,000 pigs that go into gas chambers here every single day. If you buy bacon, you're supporting gas chambers. Show me some enthusiasm. Good morning. <laughs> They're like, who are these crazy people? <laughs> Do you love animals? Do you love dogs? It's time to stop eating animals. It's time to start loving all animals. It's time to start getting your coffee with almond milk or soy milk, or oat milk. Yell at him. Yell at him, he says. <laughs> no, you, you know what to say. Just use that voice, man. You know what to say. You have the knowledge. Just spit it out. Just spit it out like it's a rap. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. You don't, you don't give a fuck. Did you know that this is a slaughterhouse? Did you know that this is where they put 10,000 pigs in gas chambers every day? Are you paying for the animals to go in gas chambers at this facility? Love all animals. If you love animals, it's time to stop eating them. In this facility, they put 10,000 pigs every day in gas chambers. When you buy animal products, Back you're paying for animals you were at to the go angle into earlier. gas chambers. When you eat okay. animals, you're letting everyone know that you don't love animals. And every time the light goes red, we should go in the road. He was super nice. Why don't you guys get real drunk? Oh my god, so much hate! So much hate! <sighs> He even used the word faggots. Like, what a loser.
Take this leg, take this leg. Oh, it's your hand. Do we cross those? Hey? Yeah, it goes. If it changes, we go. Go. Pull on it more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He was really nice. He, he smiled and said... I'm so sorry, babies. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is crazy. He, hey, how's it going? He stopped for us. He stopped on his own. We didn't do anything. Forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm just gonna ask him a question. Thank you so much. You what? Gotcha. I, we really appreciate that, eh? We actually just had a police officer come and he was super nice. Yeah, he was super, super nice. And he, he knew what we had done because yeah. we'd stopped another one, but with by walking. Oh, yeah. And he, he said, I'm not going to give you a ticket. Like, I'm not like he was really nice. Right. Yeah. And I explained the whole thing. I explained Bill 156. And I'm like, you know, like you have to understand what we're doing, like is no different than what we were. Yeah. And what happened, like Bill 156 was already in action. So it's like, you know, it's all kind of tied in. Right. So. Thank you so much, Sean. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Okay, Nika. That was excellent. Yes. That was so good. Yeah, I went to talk to him. He's like, no problem, no problem. He's so good. Fuck, that was awesome. He knew. I'm gonna stop the recording, but but he knew he knew that the, he knew that the cops had just left. Yeah, by the other. Yeah, yeah. He knew they just left, and he knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, we're good. I'm like, he was super nice, like the cop, like all that. 
Today's a good day. Happy. Hey, look at the sun. Uh, yes. <laughs> they were so sweet too. There's a whole bunch of people in the lineup right now. Talk to them. Oh, it's over there on the bench. I would scream at them, but I'm not gonna have a voice. <laughs> have to stop. I know, I guess. Oh my God. I know they were so sweet. They were so sweet. There were so many. They were, and they were so sweet, and they were all kind of like laying on each other and like trying to comfort each other, you know? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, fuck, it's so hurtful. Isn't it the most like helpless feeling ever to not be able to do fucking nothing like nothing do you know what i mean yeah exactly so i know and they were all so sweet too like <laughs> babe do you want to hold this again with me please Oh, someone's coming here. Carcinogenic is the O, right? Carcino? Yeah. Kitty. He looks like the guy that kicked my car last time. Go back to the corner. Yeah. You what? Can you pull on it more, please? Yeah. Like, there's no point of having it if we can't see it. Okay. Look at new wave activism! <laughs> she was giving me the finger. <laughs> I hope I caught that on camera. It was like glued to the window. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It's so crazy how serious people are about others fighting against oppression. People are fighting against oppression and other people literally stand there saying, fuck you, because you're fighting up against injustice. Like, how messed up is that? You only see that in animal rights. Like any other social justice movement like gets support and animal rights is like people are just left and right wanting to defend and justify their behaviors. Really? Wow. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised because there's there will always be haters, right? In any, it doesn't even need to be a social movement. If you're doing something that's big enough, there's gonna be haters, right? Whether it's cause you came up with a new creation, whether like whatever it is, there'll be haters. Otherwise you're not dreaming big enough. But I feel like in the animal rights movement and that's what I was watching on uh, Animal Justice Academy last night. We were talking about uh, animal ag gag laws and then we were also, they were talking about the different social justice movements and she was saying like, it's only in animal rights 
movements where there is as much resistance because it's so ingrained in everything like in every different type of business and different like it's on people's plates do you know what i mean like it's food so people freak out when it comes to when you're trying to take something that they have you know what i mean or having or whatever anyway it was pretty interesting I had two of my clients come at the same time this morning uh, to pick up their sprouts. So Gabe dropped off some coffee grains and Sandra picked up her sprouts and they both picked them up at the same time. Oh, bye. Have a great day. Eh? Take advantage of the sun. Pull it your way a bit so this guy can see it. Hey. Yeah, right after this. Well, I suit. Is anyone else coming? I What? Of course we're going for the banner drop. What are you talking about? It's so windy. It's the nicest day ever. You were in Vancouver when we went on the most snowiest day in the fucking winter on a snowstorm day where it snowstormed like two feet of snow. How many? How many feet of how? Do you remember that day? The last time, the la uh, it wasn't the last. Yeah. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. When Ray yeah, came, we could go at least for twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Sabrina, come on. Get home. everyone else there to come. You what? I have to probably go home and get my gloves, but I got near your house. And you know, you told me to go to that dollar store. I did, and I got some gloves. They were good, but I could just leave them. <laughs> Keep them in your car. Yeah, well then, what time is it right now? Uh, 11.32. Oh, okay, so then, uh, yeah, I would definitely go get those gloves now. I probably have, I probably have gloves in my car. I have, like, I have small gloves in here, but they're small. They're like, they're like the, it's not going to keep you very warm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, uh, don't worry about it. Like, I'll well, like right now, I could lend you these guys, no I'll problem. Worry about it, like, uh, okay. But that just to keep you warm for now. Oh, they'll fit. There's the stretchy things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're super stretchy. Give me a second. Where's the other one? You're welcome. Just for the meantime, at least. And then I think I have, I'm pretty sure I have an, another pair kind of like that in my bag over there as well. And some in my trunk, because I always keep warm clothes in case something were to happen. Because <laughs> it's not even that cold, right? But it's, uh... So it's funny, it's funny that you say that because one of my clients, Fulvia, she said um, she said she went out for a walk this week and she was like, Michelle, it was so busy at Tannery Park. Yeah. She's like, you couldn't even go for a walk. Like there was so many people. I said, Fulvia, next time this happens, send me a text message. Yeah. Tell me that it's busy like that. And if I can, I'm going to head down with my megaphone, my QR codes. I might gather one or two people. <laughs> Like, uh, during the week, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, I actually wanted to talk to you about this. Uh, did you see? I, I made it in uh, AJA, but I haven't done it anywhere else. I was going to message you privately. I'm starting my membership on April 5th. And it's a workout, meditate, and Q&A, all based around really? vegan lifestyle okay. from home, right? Yeah. And it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12. Okay, for about an hour? Well, 45 minute workout, okay. yeah. 15 minute stretch and meditation, yeah. and then the Q&A is for as long as, well, I'm doing like 20 minutes yeah. during the week, and then I do a whole hour Q&A on the weekends for anyone who has questions on anything. Like basically we're wanting to inform, educate ourselves and learn from living a vegan lifestyle in a healthy way, right? I think I'd be interested. I, I, I have you on my list because I'm like, for sure Scott is gonna fucking move and meditate with us. Because the thing is, is it's, uh, it's not like Zoom. It's not like, oh, you see everyone and all that shit. It's like, no, you can plug me to your TV or you could have me on your laptop. You log in to my website, which is Kajabi and I use Webinar Jam for that. And then all you can do is like chat. So you could log in and say like, hey, I'm here. And I'd be like, hey, Scott, but I'm live. Everyone sees me live. And then we do the workout, the meditation, and whatever Q&A, right? Three yeah, times because, a week at the uh, same time. My neighbor's funny enough to tell me about his meditation and how he meditates and I should meditate. So I definitely, I was, you know, the timing's great because I was going to try to do it, but I didn't really know how to do it. So. Well, most people don't know how to meditate. Yeah. And on top of that, as animal rights activists, like the, the type of shit that we have to put up with on a daily basis and the thing like the truth that we like the things that we can't unknow or unsee, like we need meditation in our lives. And so the fact that I'm that's why I made it like a whole a holistic package in the sense that I could make it only movement. Right. Like with my current private clients, we mainly do movement unless they need like they really need the meditation. But the thing is, is everyone needs the meditation and it would be so much more beneficial for them to get it on a weekly basis. So now I've started freeing up my hours because I usually work anywhere between 35 to 40 hours a week with private clients one on one. But now I started like already in the month of April, I'm seeing almost 12 hours a week free because I was able to package my clients in this group. Right. So I'm aiming for at least uh, 20 people starting in April. And the thing is, is we're all doing, we're all starting together. Like I want a, the biggest group of people that I can. If I could have 50 people, that would be amazing, right? Well, but, what do you target? Like how many would you be happy with? Or what are you trying to get? First? Well, eventually people would add on, right? But starting together is like important. Like I want all my family and friends and the people that are close to me to start with me because we're all going to be progressing together, yeah, yeah. right? So, and at the beginning, like I want people to connect their mind to their bodies. I want people to understand like the mechanics and how to move just functionally in all foundations. And then we're building on that and we're going through different phases, cycling phases together. So Michelle, like when you're saying like working out for 45 minutes, I mean, so you have like a clear space to go like that. Well, actually you don't even need that much of a, you don't need a big space. So what I'm requiring, I was actually going to make a YouTube yeah. video on that today. Uh, what I'm requiring for my members to have at home is basic basic one pair of dumbbells a stability ball a yoga mat a yoga block and a yoga strap so i think i'm gonna need to go shop i mean i have me have a barbell i think but like the other stuff yoga mats yoga thing whatever yeah yeah yoga ball i mean so i can buy it through you like as a package that do you have dumbbells yeah. well when you go home today look look at what equipment you have already because then what we would do like what's your space like at home oh i have like a house I live in a three-bedroom house. Okay, okay. So, I can... You can make space. Oh, yeah. Do you have like a... It could either be in your own living... Like, yeah. you would want to make it... You would want to make that space yeah. somewhere that you can see that's easily accessible and that you don't have to move shit around too much. Like, that it's there. That you just know that at 12 o'clock you go in to your space, you log in, and we start. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's, it's private coaching, basically, but it's just I'm doing it with a yeah. lot of people at the same time. Yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah yeah but you so i always suggest for anyone if they want to keep themselves accountable oh another truck okay oh i guess uh should we press the light yeah for sure that would that's going to be awesome scott i'm happy i'm happy you're on board i knew you would be i think a lot of people do honestly 
Oh yeah, and but honestly, the working out, like releasing the endorphins, getting your body to move in all sorts of directions, like that's key too. And then you finish with med. Yes, exactly. The stretch, the meditation, like. I have I have a few male clients like that. <laughs> you break my heart. No I'm kidding. You have to bend your knees and stuff. <laughs> okay, well that's. If you can touch your toes with straight legs, I'm impressed. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, then we definitely have a good start. <laughs> Do we want to cross now or... Technically, can you press that thing again? Is oh yeah, oh it's for the other one. Damn it! Press the button on this side. Okay, let's cross. Oh, it's closed. Wow. They've closed it. You can't see anything. That's so fucked up. That is so fucked up. Wow, that is so fucked up. Are they allowed to do that? Do what? To cover it like that. Wouldn't they be suffocating in there? They're fucking suffocating in there. Are you kidding me? Pigs don't even have sweat glands. Like what? Oh my God, I'm so fucking disgusted right now. Pigs don't even have sweat glands. They're fucking suffocating in there. They're suffocating in there. There's no way. There's but no in way. Yeah, because I couldn't even put my phone up and it would get uh, fogged up right away before I was even close to the truck. The and now it's all closed. The other side is safe? Yes, both sides. Completely closed in the back and everything. Well, not both sides. The, oh, the other side is it? The other side has a few open, but. Oh. But he, he did that just to cover it from us. Wow, that is fucked well, they up. They did that like last year or the year before when they just blocked this side. Wow. Bear witness. 